child. Very impressive. Well, thank you, sir. In this new age, you have to be accountable in all facets of your life. Well, what else is there? It is time to check your browser history. No! A dirty browser history may keep you out of heaven, but don't let it ruin your legacy here on Earth. At Legacy Lock, we believe your secrets are no one's business but yours, even in death. Our patented heart monitor notifies operators the moment of your passing within minutes, so Legacy Lock teams can swarm on your home and office removing any embarrassing material. We don't like to divulge our trade secrets, but you'll rest assured we'll be in and out, and no one will know. You're going to die. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Call Legacy Lock, and your cookies won't crumble you. Howdy, folks. Billy Boy's back and ready to get you mile high. <laughs> Thanks for voting, all you green leaves, and opening the door for Amendment 64. I am excited to announce to you the grand opening of my top shelf marijuana boutique and important Commander and Leaf. At Commander and Leaf, we only procure from the choicest fields and botanical masters. From sour diesel to Maui Wowie and candies to space cakes, we have it all. All our confections are created right on site, so come seal the deal and enjoy some Billy Delights. And don't forget to check out my other products. Billy Bags and Bill Doze for all my discriminating constituents. I am Bill Clinton and I approve of these party supplies and f toys. <laughs> Uh, welcome back to the Crane Mission Show. I was waiting for a uh, station ID on that one, Sancho. You dropped the ball, buddy. Oh. Sorry, I, here I play. No, come on, Jimmy. As part of your detention, we're going to do this station ID for now, this show. What, 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 yes, Mackie? My name is Jimmy Vollmer. You're listening to the Crane Mission Show. Thank you very much. With Ben Charles, Miguel Hito, Caleb, Caleb, Caleb Crispy. Dude, we were doing so good, Sancho, for God's sakes. Yeah, it doesn't do us any good, Sancho, when you play the station ID and then you talk over it. You said you wanted station ID. Yeah, but then you started talking over it. Oh. That doesn't help us. You, I, I, help me to help you. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry Maguire. <laughs> I just watched that movie. Well, guys, welcome back to the Cranial Mission Show. <laughs> Sh- Sancho, next time he says that, tell him to show, sh- say, show me the money. Who you might, you might know. No, 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 no. That's we're not going to go ahead and say that here, folks. <laughs> wow. Welcome back to the show. The triumph before you. I got you back, Sancho. Cuba Gooding Jr. The penultimate segment of the show. You want to be a part of it, you want to call in. It is 813-438-6068. You can call in like mm. the great Lou Bob did. Mm. Uh, but this is a, a segment that I have titled Bitches Be Trippin'. That's true. And w- we all know that. As men, we've all experienced that because, in fact, bitches, they do trip. They do trip. Now, this weekend, guys, is Mother's Day. And, you know, women get offended if you don't get this right, whether it's you know, your spouse and sh- and you have kids with them, whether it's your mom. I mean, you got to make sure you get Mother's Day right. Case in point, a woman that said that she was compelled to have sex with another man because her husband didn't get her flowers on Mother's Day. What a mother- Bitches be tripping. Bitches be tripping. Yeah. Last Mother's Day, she, this woman goes and opens her Mother's Day card from her husband, Derek, and her heart sank. She says she said they've been married for more than 15 years. She was the mother of his two young children, but he hadn't even thought enough to buy her flowers and then get this, let alone jewelry. Well, it's just not his mother. Now, I'm his sorry. kids should have done it. 
I'm sorry, but she sounds like a gold digger. I mean, really, look, it's Mother's Day. She ain't messing with no broke. I mean, broke. jewelry. I mean, <laughs> how many holidays do women get to begin with? You got your birthday, you got Christmas, you got Valentine's Day. Oh, don't Day. forget your birthday is a month long if you're a woman. Oh, uh, yeah, you live up north, you even get Sweetest Day to go with Valentine's Day. You get two different Valentine's Days. So now on Mother's Day, I'm supposed to buy this bitch jewelry too, seriously? And Damn. if I don't, then she's going to be you know, slobbing on some other dude's knob? Really? Is that the pressure we got to deal with now? Next thing you know, it you're wow. finding your wife on Chatterbait, <laughs> and I'll watch her too, because that's about as much as I'm getting. I'll still watch that shit. So this girl, this girl was so po'd that she didn't get flowers on Mother's Day that she went and created an account on Ashley Madison and found herself some man meat. Yeah, but this is all right. All right, I heard this story. This this stems back a lot longer than what you have described. Absolutely, this is the guy's kind of a douchebag, really. The guy's a douchebag. Okay, so enlighten us. It, 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 dude, I'm telling you something. This guy has been neglecting this hu- <clears throat> this lady <laughs> <laughs> for a very long time. I think she, you know, I, I think her doing that's a little to the extreme. Why not just break up with the guy if you're not happy with him? Oh, wait, no, wait, she's married to him. Right, she's married? Yeah, she's married to him. With yeah. kids? Right. All right, you, all right, she's got the right thing. No, we'll see. The, this to me so, sounds like the Mother's Day thing is just the excuse to allow to, it, for her to justify her actions, which yeah, have obviously stemmed from yeah, a, was, a, an unhappy relationship. Just be unhappy. It was the coup de grace. Yeah, that, that thing. <laughs> or otherwise known as the coup de grace. A uh, coup de grace. Yeah, but, this was the this was the catalyst I think in it at all to for her to do something extreme. So this is an excuse for her to whore it up. Now, did she yep. whore, did she whore it up? Yeah, she hooked up with a dude in Ashley Madison. Apparently, she had a little fling going for a while with this guy. Oh, did she? Did he boil a bunny or anything like that? Not that I know of. I don't think he went all Glenn Close on her, but he definitely got close to her. Well, well what about in, in North? No, 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 no. no. We're not going to go to North Korea on this one. <laughs> what did you say? Boil the bunny? Yeah, boil a bunny. I haven't heard that one. In North Korea, yeah, she yeah. would have boiled a bunny. She, he would have gone all Grin Cross on her. <laughs> we almost made it through a whole episode. Uh, well, in in the movie, uh, was it Fatal Attraction? Uh, they took the kid's rabbit and they she, she boiled it in a yeah. pot. No, oh. you yeah. remember that? Yeah, I thought you were talking a sexual term. In the North Korean version of that movie, known as Fatal Attraction, they did the exact same thing. It wasn't edited. <laughs> did the exact wow. same thing. Wow. <laughs> now, from a woman that becomes a hoe because of Mother's Day. To a woman that becomes a hoe because she likes the landscapers. A 56-year-old woman was accused of flashing her boobs and dropping her pants in front of some landscapers. So, yeah, it's, it's a running joke, you know, and maybe it's because of bad porn storylines, if you will. The gardener, you know, he puts down the shears and all of a sudden it's like bounce, chicka, bounce, bounce, right? You know what happened to me once. Yeah? Yes. When you were a landscaper? Yeah. When you were a manscaper? No, I was man. Sk- no, oh. no, I never touched men's private parts. No, you sure? <laughs> no, I. This one lady, this very big house down in Miami. Um, she one time she's like, "Here, you want something cold to drink?" I said, "Yes," and I go in there, and she had no top, huh? And so, what happened? Nothing. No, you can't talk about it. You getting all shy on us now? No. <laughs> 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 no, she very pretty. She rubber, she did, what do you call it, she motorboating? Oh, you motorboating her? She motorboated my penis. Whoa! <laughs> Wait a minute. You, you got a hummer, that. is that what you're saying? No, she let me put my penis between her boobies. Okay, you know, this is getting a little explicit now. You know, we are supposed to behave on this you show. You told me to, what you wanted to know. Yeah, well, you, you were supposed to censor yourself a little bit, Sancho. There's a thing known as decorum. All right, I put my stick between her braces. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> That's a good try. So oh, Tamara okay. Zane Harvey, 56, of Des Moines, Iowa, admitted to lifting her shirt and dropping her pants. But she did say she had underwear on uh, when these landscapers were mowing her yard. Now, she was hoping they would mow something else, apparently, but this woman's all horned up. Now, she Did wanted she them get... to plow something. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did she get arrested for this? Uh, she did, yeah. She actually got who, charged for who this. Who called the cops Indecent on Indecent exposure, yeah. Well, she must have looked like a train wreck. If they she must the cops, have. Yeah. I mean, she has 56. Hey, a mouth, well, is I mean, a, a mouth is a mouth. I mean, no one's <laughs> paying to see this girl on Chatterbait, that's for sure. <laughs> Chatterbait.com, great website. Just sign up for free, no credit card required. We need to be sponsored by these guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, an update, if you will. Um, 
Well, I've got two different couples busted having sex in public stories. We'll start with the most recent one, and then I'm going to give you an update to one that we talked about in the past. Uh, A couple in Wisconsin just got busted having sex in a family restaurant at a Wisconsin public library. You've got one guy. the, The guy is 29. The girl is 19. They had sex in a Waukesha public library on March 2nd, and they're engaged to be married. Now, this guy is a, is a hell of a guy. Has, if I were to ask you, do you think he already had a criminal record, what would be your, what would be your guess? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he actually was charged in the past for having sex with uh, a minor, which was this girl, oh. which was actually this girl. Oh. <laughs> so it's a love story. It's a love story. It's an illegal love story, but it's a love story. God, and and dude. so so they thought they locked the door. And you know, you know, anytime you start with they thought they did something, you know yeah. how it ends. They clearly didn't. So when the woman walked in and found them naked, or as I say in the south, naked. Naked. Uh, on the toilet banging. They promptly locked the door after she scurried out. And then of course the security was knocking on the door. They're quickly trying to put their clothes back on. They Rapidly apologized and then tried to scurry off, but they are facing charges. Now, on an update story hey. with couples. Go ahead. Police water. Follow up. There you go. Yes. A police. Very good. Very good. Very good. On a police water follow up story. Remember the couple that decided to get jiggy on a beach in Florida? Oh, the two douchebags. <laughs> yeah. 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 You they know, were, it's funny. Were... Go ahead. No, you go ahead. I've seen. I'm, I'm sitting here, and your computer screen's at an angle. It's about five feet away from me, but I've seen this story so much that I knew exactly what the story was about just from their mug shots. <laughs> well, again, one, you know, I, this dude that got caught is a, is a Hispanic couple. The guy's forty, the girl's twenty, and they were going at it last July on a Bradenton beach in broad daylight in front of families. Now facing charges, but what is it about these old cats? that are getting super young chicks to bang him in public. What are we doing wrong? Well, I don't think she was banging him, though. Didn't she say she was just um, dancing on him? Well, they everyone that was watching him said he was, she was grinding on oh, him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that was that was her somewhat of an excuse here. Now she's, yeah, she's not bad looking either. Her mugshot's not great, but the other picture they pulled off, I think of her... Uh, her social media, she wasn't too bad she's looking. She's not either. bad looking, no. She's, she's doing all right for herself. I'd, I'd you, bang her on a beach. You might find her on Chatterbait one day. Where are you going to bang her? Down by the beach. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> now, she's not facing too heavy of charges, but this guy already had a record. Apparently, shocking. She's, apparently, I know, right? <laughs> Again, he, a common theme here. He spent about eight years in prison for cocaine trafficking, so he was clearly an Aldi employee. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how it just goes full there. circle there. Oh, yeah, dude. So he actually could be looking at a 15-year sentence because it's the old three strikes you're out type of thing. Wow. Ooh. Ouch. So a little nookie on the beach got this guy a 15-year term. That's not good. No, that is not good. Wow. <laughs> now, in other news, th- this, is, this is one of my favorite stories. I just got to find this thing real quick. But Gwyneth Paltrow in the news, and for once, it's for actually saying something that's intelligent. So I'm guessing she wasn't with Mario Batali at this time. Gwyneth Paltrow's with Mario Batali? She hangs out with that dude all the time. The, the, the two biggest really? douchebags on the planet. I hate Mario Batali. Him and Batali. his freaking Crocs? Him and his Crocs and his stupid freaking vest and his, his I don't, you know, I'm so much better than everybody else attitude. He's such a douchebag. And bag. his ridiculous ponytail? Oh, God, I want to punch him right in the face. I, I will give him credit. He did give a lot of publicity to the refinery. You know, a great restaurant here in uh, 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 Seminole Heights. I'll go there and eat, and I'm sure I'll give it some great, great. Uh, You've never been to the refinery. I haven't. Oh no, it's a great place. But I'll I, take I you to Boca. You take me some. You, I've you been to Boca. There. I know that, but I'll. But take, I'll let I will you take, take me to Boca all to day Boca. long. Yes, let's do yeah. that. All right, you're on with that. All right, let's do that, my friend. But, but Gwyneth Paltrow in the news. Usually, when this woman speaks, it, we all roll our eyes. <laughs> it's usually incredibly vapid. It's usually this ridiculous uh, comment that she has. But now she's in the news. Because for for two things that I think are brilliant. First of all, she does say that every woman should make sure to give their men hummers. What? Oh, yes. Gwyneth Paltrow in the news for saying that. I wouldn't see her putting a mouth on anything because she, she thinks she's too good. Well, I mean, apparently she puts her mouth on it. Wow. But now she's also in the news for saying that all women should steam their vajayjays. 
steam them? She says that they should be steamed because it makes it cleaner and more pleasant. So it sounds like Gwyneth Paltrow has a very sterile vajayjay, has a very clean, very well-manicured vajayjay to go. 